I've seen and reviewed many successful resumes that led to software engineering positions at big tech companies. And in the upcoming minutes, I'm going to make this resume example using Microsoft Word. It's a simple yet professional setup that encourages hiring managers to read through. Now, if you prefer to save some time and want to download matching resumes and cover letter templates, then click on the link in the description for more information. Now we'll also provide you with tips on how to put your qualifications on the resume to make it better than 9 out of 10 other resumes based on solid research. Now without further ado, let's start making this resume. Now first off, I want to start with the margins. Go to the layout tab, margins and pick the normal or narrow margin settings. Now I would advise you to pick the narrow settings for some extra space to avoid cropped sentences and keep everything on a one page document. Okay, next up we go to the insert tab, shapes and pick a rectangular shape. Cover the header area and make it align. Use these options to properly align the shapes. And once that's done, we select the shape and click on the shape fill drop down menu and choose a suitable color. We can also pick gradient, linear right, double click the shape, open the fill menu and click on the middle stop icon, then the minus sign and choose two suitable colors. All right, that looks fine. Now we don't want any shape outline. After that, we need to draw a text box so we can include our personal information. Remove the shape filler and outline. Let me zoom in a bit and enter your name and surname. Go to the home tab to center it and increase the font size to let's say 24. Bold highlight it to make it stand out a bit more. After that we need to include some contact information. Start with the physical address. Email address, phone number and LinkedIn profile. Now, don't underestimate the advantages of including a link to a comprehensive LinkedIn profile. Research shows that it can increase your chances by 71% for landing an interview. All right, let me align these shapes a bit better. Now press the spacebar once and enter twice to detach the cursor from the header area. Now let's divide the resume into sections, including education, skills, experience, and interests in caps lock. Now the sequence of these sections highly depends on your previous working experience and educational background. Now I would advise you to always put the best of above the fold. Okay, now create two white lines in between each section and bold highlight education. We also need to adjust the line spacing options. Go to the spacing settings and change these to 12 points before and 12 points after and press OK. Now if it turns out you need more text to fit on one page, you can easily reduce this afterwards. I also want to add some borders to visually separate these sections from the body text. Click on this little arrow icon and pick top and bottom borders in the drop down menu. Furthermore, pick in between a 13 to 16 point font size. I think that 14 looks fine. Next up, we need to place the cursor in the middle of the keyword and click the format painter twice. Select the other sections to paste the formatting. All right, so now we need to disable the formatting option. So right now we can start adding the educational background. So the university name and the degree. I make it stand out a bit more using bold and italics. After that, we include the city, state and time spent in college. Now to align these to the right, we need the ruler. Now if you don't see this option, you need to go to the view tab and enable ruler. Okay, let me show you what this option does. So if you place the cursor right here, click somewhere in the ruler to place a left tab stop and press tab. Now I want to align it to the very end, so I simply drag it accordingly. All right, so after that, you can add some subcategories 
and list information on relevant coursework, extracurricular activities, and academic achievements. Include your GPA if it is above 3.5, and include an expected graduation date on either your cover letter or resume, if applicable. Okay, next up we have the skills section. Go to the insert tab, click on the table drop down menu, and pick a 3x1 table. Now, as you can see, the margins are not perfect, but we can change that. Go to the table layout, cell margins, and change the left and right windows to zero. Now, there you go. Now, before I add some soft and hard skills, research shows that applicants matched only 51% of the relevant keywords and skills on their resumes. In order to know what kind of keywords you should be looking at, I would advise you to copy the job description. Go to the free word cloud generator and paste it right in there. And then click on generate cloud. Now once you've filled all the cells, I like to align them. And after that, I remove the borders. Now in order to do so, select the whole table, go to table design, Click the table drop down and select no borders. Okay, next up we have the experience section. So let's say you have some experience as a software engineer. Now let me enter some working experience and fast forward a bit. Now I structured these sentences according to the PAR method, which stands for problem, action and results. Now that way you bring impact and purpose to your experiences. And same goes for using action verbs at the beginning of each sentence. Action verbs like detected, modified, and managed. Furthermore, do you notice how I quantified my experiences? Now measurable metrics illustrate someone's value and improves your chances of getting an interview. Okay, let me copy and paste the whole paragraph and move on to the next section. Now, although an interest section is not a requirement, I would advise you to include it in your resume because it takes just a couple of words to show the human side behind the resume. Now that doesn't mean you should add some fluffy buzzwords and cliches like 51% of the resumes include, but try to grab the reader's interest by making it relevant or relatable. Now if you want to come across as someone that is adventurous, enter for example, traveling, and also inform the reader about your travel ambitions. Or perhaps you like doing sports, in my case, I like football and my favorite team is AFC AX and my all-time favorite player is Johan Cruyff or what about watching Netflix? I include some of your favorite series like Binged Watch Scorpion and Stranger Things and there's a big chance that the reader watched one of these as well so you already have some mutual interests. Anyway I hope you get the idea. Now, if you still have some space and some satisfied ex-employers, then consider adding a references section in your resume. But try to keep your resume short, concise, and to the point. Recent data shows that the ideal resume length is 475 to 600 words, and a stunning 77% of the resumes were outside of that range. Lastly, I also want to emphasize the importance of properly sending your resume. Unless instructed otherwise, Save your resume as a PDF or Word document attached to the email and save it accordingly. So name, surname, resume. Now that way the reader will know that it is yours without even opening the file. And these little things prove your attention to detail and can make the difference between getting that interview or not. Okay, so before I end this video, I would like to know if you watched the whole video. And I'm even more curious if you actually got the software engineering position. Leave an emoji with glasses if you watched the video till the end. And leave an emoji with sunglasses if you got the job. I want to thank you for watching and if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll respond as soon as possible. If this video was helpful, then a like and subscribe is greatly appreciated. Thanks again for watching and see you next time. Bye!